What's new in Charlie's? What's new in Charlie's? Still on name. What's new in Charlie's? So welcome back to another episode of What's New at Charlie's. Um, this week we're going to do something different that we haven't done before. Um, we are going to do a Canadian whiskey. It's called Caribou Crossing. Now normally I would have it out of the box and ready to go, but I got to show you the packaging is pretty cool. But this came to my attention Oh, in the last year, it's, it's, it's kind of got a lot of buzz. A lot of people have been talking about it. Um, I've had a little trouble getting a hold of the bottle. I finally got some. Um, it is a single barrel product, so you'll find a lot of stores have been doing their barrel picks of it. And I think maybe that's uh, where my customers have been talking about it, and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So, like I said, I finally got a bottle of it. We're going to open it up here. Me and my... Uh, as always, my good friend, Don Williams, the bourbon fool. So, hey, Don, how are you? Hey, Charlie, good. And uh, having a Canadian whiskey, I know there's a lot of people are going to say, we can't believe Don's doing a Canadian whiskey tasting. I'm eating. But the bottom line is it's got a lot of interesting synergies with some bourbons, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. And quite frankly, uh, the master blender who put this together is the same gentleman who was responsible for blending Crown Royal for about 20 years. Yeah, so that's uh, Drew Mayfield, if I remember right, correct? Mayville. Mayville, I'm sorry, Drew Mayville. Yeah, so he is the now the master blender at Buffalo Trace. Um, and he's like, uh, works hand in hand with Harlan, uh, their master distiller on a lot of cool projects down there. But he was the last master distiller at Seagram's uh, and they've only had four in the history of Seagram's been around a long time. So the guy knows what he's doing. So he brought the Canadian whiskey into the fold at Sazerac. So um, I'm just going to show you the packaging real quick, though. So you got this great box, you know. It's got a uh, holograph and this stuff. So, you know, you can't have it. I don't think it's legal to have a Canadian whiskey without a bag, right? Uh, maybe so, not. I think so. So it's got to have a cool bag. So look at this. Blue velvet. And we open that up. And, ta-da, a beautiful bottle. So, we're going to get to tasting it here in a second, but as a gift for somebody, it's, an, it's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. So, they go uh, first class. And um, Don said it kind of reminded him of some other packaging, maybe. Yeah, so, you'll notice that it comes in a box with a nice bag around it, and it has an ornamental stopper on the top. Well, it's very similar to Blanton's, and as a matter of fact, uh, you can't get away from bourbon no matter how you try. Sure, this especially is, with us. This is actually bottled at Buffalo Trace twice a year in the same room where they bottle Blanton's. So it kind of comes around yeah. full circle. Do you think the moose makes different positions so you can buy all the corks and make the moose run? You know, I never thought about that, but I didn't look for letters on it, but I think it's just, and by the way, it's a caribou. It is a caribou. It is not a moose. You're correct. That's I, right. I stand corrected. So the caribou, but uh, they should make it run like the horses do on the Blantons. But uh, anyway, yes, it does. It is like, it, it appears to be like the Blantons of Canadian whiskey. So uh, beautiful packaging, beautiful bottle. Be great for anyone as a gift. Uh, what else you know about this, Don? Well, they actually market it as the first Canadian single barrel. Yeah, so, there you go. So that's another tie-in and, to... And what was the first bourbon single barrel that was that was Blanton's Blanton's yes exactly right. so yeah so anyway the uh, interesting thing there's one other Charlie pointed something out right before we went to film here is this is a very very similar bottle to what they Sazerac does Rock Hill Farms in and we didn't really pair it up to see exactly but it's really close it's real if close, it's not so the yeah, same yeah, bottle yeah so yeah it's like they're cross promoting a little of the marketing there but anyway Beautiful package, uh, nice color on the whiskey. I mean, I read that this is a 10-year-old product somewhere, so yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's some disagreements uh, on the internet about how old this actually is, but the bottom line is, overwhelmingly, it gets high notes for its flavor, and I'm looking forward to tasting yeah. it. Uh, the other interesting thing about this bottle, quite frankly to me, is that it kind of is under the radar. Like, 
I had, like I said, I don't know when it came out. I'd never heard of it. And in the last six months, everybody's starting to talk about it. All the whiskey guys are like, have you had Caribou Crossing yet? I got a bottle of such and such. So I got a bottle here. So it's something that came on my radar from customers coming in here to Charlie's and talking to me about whiskey. So usually I'm telling people about a new whiskey, but they told me about this one. So, yeah. yeah. And, the interesting thing is, it, you know, we're we're filming close to the city of Detroit, relatively close. And if you know, during Prohibition, the Detroit River, the boundary between Canada and Detroit, was a big whiskey oh, route. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It, during Prohibition, I mean, there's stories forever. And I grew up in a household where Canadian whiskey was the thing. Uh, it was readily accessible, and it's going to be. Kind of full circle to try the first Canadian single barrel. Sure, absolutely. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open. You got anything else uh, you want to talk about Canadian whiskey as opposed to bourbons or? Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, bourbon has high standards as we've talked about many times, but Canadian whiskey is of all the major whiskey groups. So Scotch whiskey, Irish whiskey, bourbon, Tennessee whiskey. Canadian whiskey has one designation that uh, is always kind of a little suspect to me, and that is it is the only whiskey allowed to have artificial color and artificial flavor. Now, chances are this product doesn't need either one of them, but that is the difference with Canadian whiskey. Sure, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Definitely different from the bourbon I'm used to trying. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Is that barley forward that I'm tasting? I think it must be, yeah. It's got a really, really different flavor that, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to hit that again. So, two things. Yep. This is definitely a sipping Canadian whiskey. Yep. Uh, What's I, the proof on that? I believe it's 80. It is 80 proof, yeah, 80 proof, yep, uh-huh. So it's it's really mild, it's really smooth. Um, it has a different flavor than bourbon, I will tell you that for sure. And there's a little bit of caramel on the nose, but the nose is not overwhelming. No. But if you like sipping whiskey, um, I think this is a good one to try. And uh, the bottle gets all kinds of points for being well packaged and dramatic. And as you know, Charlie and I are bottle guys. And, it's uh, got to look good on the back bar. Come on. And Come it, on. And it looks really good. Yeah, it does. And it tastes good, too. It's, it's, it's just different from what I'm used to. You know, uh, I'm not a Canadian whiskey guy. Per se, um, but this is definitely um, different than you know. To me, Crown Royal is a little light in flavor. This has definitely got way more flavor than a Crown Royal. I believe um, it does. Yeah, it's 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 not on the bourbon side though. You know, you don't get that all those sweet notes from a bourbon or thing. But um, it's it's definitely worth checking out yep. for sure. And where, if you wanted to check it out, though, where would you go to try it? Charlie's still on Maine. There you go. Look at that. So uh, yeah. And that's the beauty of doing these is you now know that it's available here. And if you want to try it, and I encourage you to try it if you like Canadian whiskey or if you like whiskey, period. Yeah. And uh, who doesn't, really? Come on. Come to Charlie Still on Main. Yeah, perfect. Well, got anything else or does that wrap her up for us? I think that wraps I it up. I think we both like it. It's, both, it's a good drink. And uh, I would come try one. So. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, my friend. Thank you. Tell me what's new, Charlie's. Charlie.